Budtender resume template for your career in a dispensary. If you're looking into new opportunities to work in the greenest industry around, becoming a bud tender is one of the best ways to get started. That being said, just like any other job, you need to show your future employers that you know what you're doing or that you know enough that training will take less than a day. The best way to prove this is with a concise resume that gives your interviewer all of the information he or she needs to make a decision about your employability. This isn't hard to show, especially if you've been a patient for more than a few years. The tricky part is in knowing how to present what you know, which is why we've created this handy Bud Tinder resume template for you. Follow it, and that bud tender job will be yours. Objective. This is a section where you want to quickly clarify what you're after. Use something short and sweet like seeking part-time or full-time position as a bud tender with a respectable dispensary that offers daily challenges and opportunities for professional growth. You might also try something like seeking position as a bud tender where I can utilize my customer service skills and build lasting bonds with patients and community members. Skills. This is where your interviewer wants you to show them that you know what they need. If you list a bunch of skills here that are unnecessary, it will be that much more obvious that you're just winging it and that you'll probably do the same with your work. Experience. This is where you should show your work history more than anything else. This section will likely be skimmed over unless you have direct experiences as a bud tender somewhere in your employment history in which case your interview is likely to be a shoe-in anyways. Dispensaries definitely appreciate direct experience above other skills, though what they are looking more or less for is the same as almost any other employer, proof that you'll be loyal, dependable, and respectable. Community Contributions in this section, you want to highlight any community service you've contributed to. This can include volunteering with festivals, activist groups, political groups, or just about any work that you've done for free in the name of helping your community, local or otherwise. Education. This is another section that will likely get skimmed over, mostly only because there is a larger demand for bud tenders than there are schools to train those bud tenders. Employers recognize this, so they mostly just look to see that you've completed an average amount of education and that you are interested and able to continue learning. If you do happen to have direct experience in the world of medical marijuana, that should go at the top of the list. Any cannabis colleges, classes, or experiences that have taught you more about handling the plants, tending to the flowers, or working directly with patients will help you get that job. References This section is definitely a big deal in the world of bud tending. Respectable business is still new in the world of cannabis, and there are not a lot of things that can indicate whether your person will be a good bud tender or not. Sure, your education, experience, and skills count, but not if it's just your word alone. So in this section, make sure you list at least three people who you know are involved in the green industry and who will vouch for your dependability, loyalty, and your hardcore work ethics. After you write your resume out, you may want to consider also writing a cover letter to go with your resume, as it adds a more professional vibe to your persona and will likely be read when they're interviewing bud tenders for the job opening. Let us know what you think.